I'm from Stockton, California. Matthew, my nephew, is from Bakersfield, sure. California. You don't really need to have to say California after either Stockton or <laughs> Bakersfield because there's no other places <clears throat> like them. True. Um, we started playing music. He started when he was little. I started when I was about 19. And I uh, just wanted to be able to play something that sounded decent and uh, just practice and practice and practice. And Matthew grew up and learned to play. He seems to think I taught him. I don't really remember teaching him much because he didn't need, you know, he's a quick learner. But uh, we play mostly uh, rock. People say rockabilly, blues, and uh, R&B. So then it's the old style uh, American music. Uh, this path of music was kind of laid out for me when I turned on the transistor radio about six years old and I started hearing the early uh, girl bands and uh, some late, late end of doo-wop and the beginning of stuff like the impressions. Um, and that's, that directed me toward rhythm and blues type of music. Then when the Rolling Stones and Beatles came out, I was hip to the blues through the Rolling Stones. And so, although it came around backwards to it, we ended up at the right place. And uh, that's how kind of we got in this direction and Matt's kind of followed me along to, and especially to do this recording. That's true. Uh, it's been a journey. Um, I was more into punk rock and heavier stuff, but uh, Paul, you know, when I was a kid, kind of schooled me on the blues, so kind of making full circle back around has been good. And, uh, you know, definitely has influenced my other music that I've been making, um, for better or for worse, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> But, uh, you know, there's such a wealth of, like, stuff out there from the 60s and 70s that it's, it's kind of mind-blowing um, to kind of go back and analyze some of that stuff and try and work in that world has been, it's been great. Yeah, it tried to get a sound similar to that or that with a little more or that with a little less. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. Well, technology has come a long ways. In fact, now I actually, uh, I didn't know what it meant until a couple months ago. Uh, okay. But... <laughs> <laughs> From the top. When we started, or when I started, what we'd do is get two boom boxes and put them next to each other and you'd play your track on one boom box, play it back, and then play with it onto the other boom box. <laughs> and you could go back to the other boombox. So you could track and make up songs and, and you know, kind of fill specter it up with two tape recorders. Um, but I think we've come a ways since then. Yeah. And I started on four tracks, but, uh, you know, the computers and programs came along pretty much since I've been making music and, and I've always been, you know, into that. and having the ability to like grab some computers and a bunch of vintage guitars and you know go up to the mountains or just come over to Paul's house has been great because we can just hang out and make music and not have to worry about studios and paying for time yeah. or anything like that and obviously so many people are doing that these days and I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing but you know, it allows dudes, I guess, to make an album and... Yeah, it gives you freedom to be creative <laughs> in your in your way. Whatever you do, you know, a, a technology gives you that, that, that ability. Yeah, and uh, to, to go into like, you know, you're tracking stuff digitally and I wish we could track on tape machines and all this fun stuff, you know, but it's so expensive to do that and... Paul has a bunch of vintage guitars and old amplifiers and and it's and it's interesting to take like these old instruments record with them we're going straight into the computer but that extra little age of 
or jankiness of some electronics or just weird, you know, artifacts of from this old gear kind of gives it a little fuzz that I think kind of makes some of this stuff. Well, you we know. can go now. You've got it set up so we can go right into the board with a with an instrument and still get the sound of any old Fender that I have, you know, and without the buzzes in them, you know. <laughs> and uh, you can get the exact sounds you want and even modify it from there. So uh, it allows you to do an awful lot without having a stack of Marshall. Well, I hope you hear the uh, record. We had a lot of fun doing it. It's a fun, uh, a fun bunch of songs. I wanted to thank the people who played with this, Matt and I, of course, and then Nick Andre, uh, Stephanie Domilano sang on there, and the great Gary Wagner played uh, Hammond organ and uh, just Hammond Coleco, organ. Coleco piano. piano. For she, ages Cassio eight piano, and over. I believe it's Cassio. Yeah, ages eight and over. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, find us on Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, and brotherpaulmusic.com. We're on Facebook as Brother Paul and Instagram as Brother Pablito. And that is handled by yours truly over here. So it is an interesting little social experiment. Uh, but check us out and... Uh, Thanks for listening. Good night. <laughs> good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> no, I think that was good. Cool.